Hi grade 10 students, this is teacher Lester aka Sir Les and I welcome you all to another fun and meaningful learning. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated of new uploaded videos. For today's video, we will be discussing about other forms of dances and this is actually a topic discussed in the fourth quarter of your module. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Class, our topic for today is entitled Other Dance Forms, Cheer Dance, and Contemporary Dance. And for us to be guided with our discussion for today, let's consider the following objectives or we call them learning competencies. The learner assesses physical activity, exercises, and eating habits, determines risk factors related to lifestyle diseases such as obesity, diabetes, and heart diseases, engages in moderate to vigorous physical activities for at least 60 minutes a day in and out of school, appropriate correct techniques to minimize risk of injuries, expresses a sense of purpose and belongingness by participating in physical activity related community services and programs, and recognizes the health needs of others in real life and meaningful ways. So let us proceed to our topic entitled Other Dance Forms, Chair Dance, and Contemporary Dance. First thing to do, let us review the Body Mass Index and Weight Management. This is really important because these are the basics and after all, this is the main objective of the lesson why we do dancing. That is to achieve better body mass index and weight management status. BMI and Weight Management Let me just tell you about obesogenic. Western culture of excessive intake of unhealthy, high-calorie food coupled with physical inactivity. That's obesogenic, so it's nothing but a kind of sedentary lifestyle, a tendency to have a fat citizenry. This is a review of the BMI classification. The formula in getting your BMI is BMI is equal to weight expressed in kilogram over height square or expressed in meter square. BMI classifications. If your BMI is below 18.5, you are underweight. 18.5 to 24.9, you are normal. 25.0 to 29.9, you are overweight. And 30.0 and above, you might be obese. Waist circumference. These are the risk categories. Very low, low, high, very high. And these are the waist circumference in inches and centimeters. For men, very low, below 31.5 inches, that is 80 centimeters. And for women, below 27.5 inches, that is 70 centimeters. For low, 31.5 to 39.0, that is 80 to 90 centimeters. For women, 27.5 to 35 inches, that is 70 to 89 centimeters. For high risk category, 39.5 to 47 inches for men, that is 100 to 120 centimeters. For women, 35.5 to 43 inches, that is 90 to 109 centimeters. And very high risk factor for men if they have above 47 inches waist circumference, 120 centimeter plus, and above 43. 0 0.0 in inches for women that is 110.0 centimeters plus and I have said that is a very high factor so you have to avoid such waist circumference. We have another term here which is physical activity. It refers to bodily movement produced by the skeletal muscles that requires energy expenditure and produces progressive health benefits. Exercise. It is a type of physical activity that requires planned, structured, and repetitive bodily movements to improve to or maintain one or more components of physical fitness. Intensity of exercise. Three steps to determine the intensity of exercise for a cardiorespiratory training zone according to heart rate reserve. Intensity of exercise, number one, estimate your maximal heart rate or MHR. MHR is equal to 207 minus open parenthesis 0.7 times H close parenthesis. So that's how you compute MHR. Number two, check your resting heart rate or RHR. 
for a full minute in the evening after you have been sitting quietly for about 30 minutes reading, watching, or relaxing. Number three, determine your heart rate reserve or HRR by subtracting the resting heart rate from the maximal heart rate. So HRR is equal to MHR minus RHR. So that's how you compute HRR. And number four, calculate the training intensity or TI at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 85%. Multiply the heart rate reserve by 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and 0 0.85, and then add the RHR to all. Example, 60% TI is equal to HRR times 0.60 plus RHR. And of course, we have an activity for intensity of exercise. It is entitled, My Intensity of Exercise. You have to indicate your name, your age, your MHR, HRR, and RHR. So you have to do this activity. Uh, given there are the percentage, the training intensity, and cardiorespiratory training zone. And there are also examples indicated in red font colors or numbers. So you have to follow that example. And now let's review the common injuries and first aid involved in recreation. The first one is sprain. It is a stretch or tear of a ligament. Strain is twist, pull, or tear of a muscle tendon. Knee injury, blow or twist to the knee. Fracture is a break in the bone and dislocation is the separation of joints. You have encountered this already with our discussion when you were grade 9, so I think you can easily relate to this already. These are the common injuries and first aid symptoms. Pain, swelling, bruising, difficult and painful movement, deformity, a pop, snap, or tear is sometimes felt or heard when injury occurs. And here are the basic first aid to do. Protection, rest, ice, compression, elevation, and diagnosis. In the first few days of an injury, remember to avoid harm. Heat, alcohol, running, or other excessive exercise, and massage. And now, let us proceed to this interesting topic which is cheer dance. Cheer dance is coined from the words cheer and dance. Cheer means to shout out words or phrases that motivate and boost morale of a team. Dance means physical activity that expresses emotions or gestures while performing bodily movements with rhythm. Cheer dancing rooted from cheerleading. Cheerleading is the performance of a routine usually dominated by gymnastic skills such as jumps, tumbling skills, lifts, tosses, combined with shouting of cheers and yells to lead the crowd to cheer for a certain team during a game or sport. These are the essentials of cheerleading. For arms or hand movements, we have beginning stance and cheer stance, T and half T positions, clasp and clock, overhead clasp, low clasp, touchdown, low touchdown, high V and low V, tabletop and punch, etc. L and diagonal positions. Here are the demonstrations. For beginning stance, fit together, hands down by the side in blades. We also have clasp. Hands clasp, elbows in. Low touch down. Arms extended straight down parallel to each other. Bow and arrow. One arm extended to side with other arm bent at elbow in half T motion. We also have touchdown, arms extending straight and parallel to each other. We also have overhead clasp, arms are straight above the head, a clasp and slightly in front of the face. There's also low V, arms extending down forming V. We also have box motion, both arms up in 90 degree angle, elbows at shoulder height, and muscle man. Both arms up in 90 degree angle from a T motion. And lastly, side lunge. Lead leg bent with knee over ankle. Lock leg straight and feet perpendicular to each other. We also have the L. We also have diagonals. 
The next one is punch. The D position. The half T. Front lunge. Tabletop and high V. I hope you can follow these arm movements easily which are essentials in cheerleading. For a bigger and uh, clearer view, we have here another examples or another illustrations. We have the clean, clap, clasp, hips, high V, low V, T, broken T, touchdown, prep, daggers, and high clasp. We also have diagonal, bow and arrow, L, half V, K, and cross. And now let's proceed to legs or feet positions. First one is feet together, second is feet apart, third is dig, front and side, hitch, liberty and scale, launch, front and side, and lastly, knees and hips position. So here are the illustrations. There's the feet together, feet apart, feet wide, passe, squat, soft bend, cross back, step point, and launch. Also, we have the chair dance basics. This is the gymnastic side. First one are jumps. We have the first one which is tuck. Next is star or spread eagle. Next one is spike. Then split, hurdle jump or herky. And lastly, toe touch jump. Here are the illustrations. The first one is tuck jump. The second one is spread eagle or the star jump. The next one is front hurdler. Fourth one is toe touch, fifth one is side hurdler, and sixth one is spike. And now class, let us take a look at this illustration of tumbling skills. The first one is forward roll, next one is backward roll, we have the cartwheel, aerial cartwheel, forward handspring, back handspring, and back tap. So those are the processes or different movements when executing the different tumbling skills. Just a reminder, do not do this at home when you are alone and not supervised by professionals. Next one class are the pyramids. The composition for pyramids are flyer, base, and spatter. So this is a three-man word. These are the different levels, one and a half high, we have two high and two and a half high. These are the steps in executing a pyramid. First one is setting up or preparing to lift. The second one is load or the actual lift. The third one is hit or striking for a final pose. And finally, dismount or to move down by the flyer. And here are the chair dance basics in which when you do the chair dancing, you do actually the combination of hip hop and jazz or classical dance for hip hop basics we have bounce or down rock groove or top rock you have power moves pump lock point curl the last one are freezes and also we have jazz or classical dance basics and these are the techniques the tendu or point plie knees slightly bent grand plie or full knees bent we also have relevé or heels raised, and also PK, raising a knee, batment or kicks, and lastly, pirouette and chenet or turns. So here are the illustrations on how to do the basics. We have the first one for hip hop, the top rock. Cannot view the rest because we have to do it in motion. And we also have the illustrations for jazz or the classical dance basics. We have the pirouette, the chene, chassé. We also have the illustration for tendu, plié, relevé, piqué, batman, and ball change. And so much for chair dancing, let's proceed to contemporary dancing. Contemporary dance is an expressive dance technique which is a combination of a variety of dances, modern, jazz, lyrical, and classical ballet. A performing art that involves rhythmic body movement within a given space choreographed based on a musical beat. 
it was developed in 1950s in America and Europe. And now let us review the basic movements of contemporary dance. First off, let us consider this origin of movement. According to Martha Graham's philosophy, movement is generated from the three places, the action of contraction and release, the pelvis, and the emotional inner self. The contraction or strong pulling back and curving of the torso and the release of this movement by returning to straight torso are symbolic of the dichotomies in life. It is the contrast between desire and duty, between fear and courage, between weakness and strength. And these are the Martha Graham dance techniques. First one is breathing as illustrated on the right side. We also have bounces, the simple spiral, we also have tendu or brush variations from first position, high curve hip thrust, brush contractions, step draw, Next is contraction side to side, triplets, we have the walks, plies, spiral turn, Deep stretches and the last one is pleadings. So those are the basic movements when you do the contemporary dancing. This can also serve as your exercise so that you can able to perform well the dance. And these are the elements of movement in space and actually discussed already when you were grade 9 so this is just a review. First one is rhythm. It is the regular recurrence of a beat, maybe slow, moderate, or fast. This element of rhythm is called tempo. We also have level, refers to the level of movement, maybe high, medium, or low. Floor pattern or design, or refers to the designs created in the floor by the bodies of dancers, maybe geometric or non-geometric. And also we have focus, it refers to the focal point of dancers' attention while moving. And lastly, we have the review for the nutrition for better health and fitness. Class, these are our nutrient needs. It includes carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water. Macro means the carbo, protein, fats, and micro means the vitamins and minerals. Macronutrients, first one is carbohydrates. Source of energy, vital for optimal functioning of your body blood glucose or sugar needed by the brain and CNS and 45% to 65% of your calorie intake should be from carbo. Here are the sources of carbohydrates. Grains can be bread, cereal, rice, or pasta. Fruits as well, vegetables, and dairy products like milk, yogurt, and cheese. Proteins made up of small units called amino acids, building blocks of the body, promotes muscle growth, required for many body functions assists with chemical reactions and hormones. Sources of proteins, meat, fish, beans, yogurt, peanuts, eggs, and some fruits and vegetables. Proteins should be 10% to 15% of your calorie intake. It can be increased for athletes and may vary depending on the sport, intensity and frequency of workout, and how experienced the athlete is. Next is fats, also called lipids, provided in the diet from such sources like animal protein, butter, oils, nuts, and many refined products. It is needed in appropriate amounts for normal body functions. Fats should be less than 10% of your calorie intake. Saturated fats, monounsaturated fats, and polyunsaturated fats. 
trans fat. These are naturally found in some animal products but also a result of hydrogenation. Hydrogenation changes the structure of fat to make it more stable but as a result produces more saturated fats, solid at room temperature, to increase the shelf life of product. Next are vitamins. The first one is thiamine, carbo and protein metabolism and functions of heart, muscles, and nervous system. Next is riboflavin, energy production and red blood cell production. Niacin, energy production and health of digestion, skin, and nerves. Pantothenic acid is for energy production. Biotin is also for energy production. Vitamin B6 is for protein metabolism, immune, and nervous systems function. And we also have folate for cellular growth, replication, regulation, and maintenance. Vitamin B12, red blood cell formation, neurological function, and role with metabolism. Vitamin C is for antioxidant properties, iron absorption, and role with connective tissues. We also have vitamin A for vision as well as healthy teeth, bones, and skin. And vitamin D is for calcium absorption and for bone growth and remodeling. Vitamin E is for antioxidant properties and important role in immune function. And vitamin K is for blood clotting. We also have minerals. First one is calcium. It is for bone growth and maintenance muscular contractions, cardiovascular and nervous system functions, and hormone and enzyme secretion. We also have iron. Major role in oxygen transports in the blood. Zinc is major in energy production, immune system, or immune function, and healing of wound. Chromium is for enhancing the function of insulin and involved with metabolism of fat and carbohydrates. We also have magnesium. Its major role is proper muscle and nervous function. Selenium is helping you out with anti oxidant function to prevent cellular damage and copper is for formulation of red blood cells as well as healthy blood vessels, nerves, immune system, and bones. We also have iodine, major role in metabolism of cells and in normal thyroid functions. Phosphorus is for formulation of bones and teeth, also involved in the utilization of fats, carbo, and protein for growth and maintenance of cells and for energy production. Water is also important. Required nutrient for all human beings, valuable for disease prevention, important for hydration, and not only from drinking but as well as from food. Water provides us you hydrated or balanced state. DRI, daily recommended intake of water is for men, 3.7 liters and for women, 2.7 liters. Water balance means replacing water lost from sweating and urinating. We also have energy balance. Compares the amount of energy consumed as food with the amount of energy expended through metabolism, daily activities, and voluntary physical exercise. Energy balance has three types, the positive EB, negative EB, and neutral EB. Positive energy balance means when you consume more energy than you expend or weight gain. Negative energy balance is when you expend more calories than you consume or weight loss. And neutral energy balance is equal consume of calorie and expenditure of energy. These are the different levels of activity. So, what is your own category? You reflect on this. For sedentary, less than 30 minutes a day of moderate physical activity in addition to daily activities. Second, moderately active, at least 30 minutes up to 60 minutes a day of moderate physical activity in addition to daily activities. And this is the active level of activity 60 minutes a day of moderately physical activity in addition to daily activities so they have sedentary moderately active or active lifestyle that's all for today's discussion class we're done with our slides and this is now your performance task 
You perform the essentials of cheerleading, both arms or hand movements and legs or feet positions. You can create at most 3 minute video while doing it or make a collage of pictures with captions to present your performance. In the last part, enumerate and explain 3 importance of participating in active recreational activities. Submit your output to your teacher through Google Classroom. And that's all for today class and I thank you so much for listening and I hope that you have learned a lot from our discussion for today. This was just a review but actually through reviewing it means knowing more about the topic. And I know that dancing, especially chair dancing and contemporary dancing are new to you but I hope that you have learned a lot or just a little bit of the lesson and applying it through the performance task, I hope that you will learn more of it. Let's call it a day, greeted students, and see you all on my next video. This is Sir Lester saying, Lester, and make it happen. Goodbye, guys.